Sean Sewell with InGearment.com, the beautiful mountains of Colorado, with another Arcteryx review for you. This is the Arcteryx Adam LT jacket. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you're gonna find out in this video. So, let's get into it. As always, we'll start with sizing and my build. I am six foot one, 210 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. This is a men's extra large. Per usual, Arcteryx just fits me really, really well. Fits most people really well, um, which is why one of the many reasons why I think a lot of people gravitate to Arcteryx. That and the build quality and the functionality. They, the Atom, <laughs> I'm speechless. The Atom LT has been around for a long time. Updating each year. This is a 2023 version. Uh, this is updated color. This is called Bitters. So here is Bitters. Uh, if you can see, it's kind of a chocolatey brown color. Unique color for sure. They always update the colors every year. So it's kind of fun to see what they come out with. So Arcteryx, the fit is just fantastic. As you can tell, got a nice drop in the rear. So great coverage of the rear uh, for using this actively. Of course, I'm, I'll be split boarding here in a minute, walking our dog Chloe here in the snow. Uh, it's just really good for mid layer, just uncompromised mobility. Probably the best active insulation jacket for comfort right out of the box. Well, it's not out of a box, right off the shelf. For comfort, for activity, for function, it just it just works. I've had Adam LT's hoodies uh, usually. I prefer hoodies. Uh, I want to say eight years, ten years, a long time. Not just myself. We have many riders on on our engagement team who just absolutely love the Arcteryx Adam LT. This is my first time having this the jacket version. I do wish I had the hood because it is about ten degrees and it's humid and cold, and I would put that up right away. I could tell you about the hood on the hoodie version. Of course, it is a scuba style, non-adjustable. It just kind of comes over. Good over a hat, good over a beanie, um, nah, not so much over a helmet, but still extremely functional. Uh, this is a fantastic active insulation piece. This might be the original active insulation piece. Uh, active insulation is a category of usually synthetic insulation jackets that is meant for medium to high output activities in cool to cold weather like uh, in our case split boarding or backcountry skiing or snowshoeing um, biking fat biking uh, nordic skiing cross-country skiing hiking walking the dog in a cold day uh, also just mid-layer piece for resort skiing resort riding it's great for that too um, active insulation in that category. There are several other jackets in the category, and now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna do a comparison video between this Adam LT and other jackets in the category, say the Nano Air, Nano Air Lite, which will be coming out here soon. Um, a lot of other jackets in this category, but I really wanna kind of give credit to Arcteryx for kind of blazing the trail for the active insulation piece category with this Adam LT. What makes it stand out? Well, you get 60 grams of synthetic insulation in Arcteryx, this case, it's a sort of proprietary core loft, which is kind of a sheet of synthetic insulation so it doesn't clump up um, like down or synthetic down alternatives would. It just kind of stays in place, which is nice. So when you're moving around, it moves with you. It stretches. Like, it's just ridiculously comfortable. Um, and then you get under the arms and here, you get this stretch, maybe Polar Tech, I'll, I'll update this if I'm not correct, but a stretch kind of fleece material that while it is warm, it just dumps heat. So the, the, the face fabric, I think it's 20 down years, which is a lighter weight fabric, it stretches, it's very durable for given um, the use I've put it through over the years. Very durable, very stretchy, very quiet. My microphone's right here. Very, very quiet, right? Um, here's mechanical stretch to it. And then this material stretches very well. So the combination of the stretchy 20 denier and then the stretchy panels underneath, which is just really, there's no restrictions in range of motion. I mean, if you're a climber, hiker, whatever, this is just a great fit for you. The aesthetic, okay? Not that this is the most important part, but it, if you want something to look good, you're probably gonna wear it more often. Uh, the Arcteryx Adam LT just looks, it's a stud. 
or stud at, if you get the female version. It's just attractive, right? You do get hand pockets, and thankfully they're not so low that they're only good for casual use. They do sit a little bit mid-height, so with backpack straps, say if you are using them for hiking or whatever you're doing with backpack hip belt straps, it will play nicely with that. Of course, the pockets are behind the insulation, keeping your hands a little bit warmer. And as you can tell, it is about half insulated. So part is not insulated and the other half is insulated. So good on the back of your hands, especially when it's cold out, nice place to rest your hands and keep them a little bit warm. Other than that, on the inside, not much to report. There are no drop pockets, of course. That they haven't had them and I don't think they will have them because it just would kind of go against the um, active insulation where they want to draw the moisture and heat out. So just be one more layer to get in the way so I can see why I didn't add that. Uh, most active insulation jackets don't have drop pockets just so nobody gets riled up because they know on this channel how much I love drop pockets. But can't have everything. You do get one little tiny zipper right here that you can put, you know, whatever you want to in there, phone or what have you. So, you know, it is uh, got you covered if you're going to use it for a, a light run or a stroll around the park and you want to put your phone somewhere. Um, and it is a tiny zipper. You know how I feel about tiny zippers. But the main zipper is sizable and has a nice, easy to grab handle right there. It's just fantastic. The jacket version retails for $239, US $240, let's call it US. The hoodie, just a little bit more. Often goes on sale, different outlets, you know, Backcountry, REI, their own website. I'll put links below if you do want to purchase one. Um, hopefully going over the sizing, the new bitters color, how it works um, has been helpful. Oh, one last thing, the cuffs, before I forget. They are elastic, not adjustable, but they're elastic, which I really like. So it does play nicely if you are, you know, washing dishes at camp or tending to the fire, or you just want to feel like you're uh, from Miami Vice and you want to pull your sleeves up, that's an option too. <laughs> back to uh, the wrapping up here. Uh, it's just such a good jacket. I don't want to, to tell you much more about it. If you know about the Adam LT, you know about the Adam LT. You probably have one. You probably have three. Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> it's that good of a jacket. Um, given how this has gone um, in this video, I am definitely going to do a comparison video between the Adam LT and other ones in the category. We recently did a down jacket comparison. It all started because of the Arcteryx uh, Serium they sent over. I was just kind of wanting to compare it to other ones like Outdoor Research and Patagonia and Outdoor Vitals and a host of other ones. And we did actually two parts because that's such a big hit. We covered, I think we covered nine or 10 different jackets in that category. So I think I'll do the same for synthetic. So if you want to see that, consider subscribing to our Engearment YouTube channel to stay up to date. I still have four more things for Arcteryx to review as well. Uh, my wife has helped me out, one of our fellow writers, uh, Abby Gottinger um, is out snowshoeing, testing out the woman's version of Proton. We have a lot of good stuff coming up with Arcteryx, and they make just, obviously, just fantastic products. So if you want to see those, obviously that'll benefit you to subscribe as well. So stay tuned for those. If you have questions, uh, post them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you on whatever those questions might be, how we use it, the sizing, stuff like that. If you have observations, and I know Thousands of you out there have observations on the Adam LT. Share that with the audience. You get to be an expert for a moment. You get to share your opinions and you get to help other people out, which is just, it's fun. It's a community. We're all learning. We're all having fun out here. We all want to get outside and recreate, which is what I want to do. I'll get my dog, my flipboard, and get up to the top of the trailhead and have fun. All right. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engearment.com. And until next time, take care.